What is good everybody? Hope you are doing well. I'm doing pretty good myself. I cannot complain. I'm well rested from combo breaker. The only problem right now is that my allergies have been flaring up really badly. So I am getting sauteed and cooked by the weather, by the dust, by the pollen. Everything is cooking me right now. So I apologize in advance if my voice is a little more raspy than usual, but we're going to try our best to get through this. While my voice might be a bit of a problem right now, my Twitter fingers aren't, and those set Twitter fingers were scrolling through Twitter today in which I saw something from a very prominent figure. And I'm sure you have too, so that's why we're here today. That prominent figure I was talking about is a Mr. Yasuyuki Oda-san, the producer slash director slash game planner. The man holds many titles for SNK. So a few hours ago at the time of this recording, Mr. Yasuyuki Oda posted an image, just a blank image, a vague image of the KOF 15 front cover, the promotional art that they've used for the game, just that image on Twitter. So of course that one image was enough to spark up people like myself and other diehard SNK, uh, or in this case KOF fans, looking for any crumb, right? Any little crumb or, or like reference, anything we can, you know, use as evidence one would say to see if we're gonna get a new uh, KOF update or a new character or anything of that sort. Now, of course, we could all be crazy, right? Uh, maybe maybe Oda was just really proud of his work, so he decided to post an image of it. Maybe he just saw the, the artwork and was like, damn, this is cool, I wanna, I wanna just drop this on Twitter. And that could be the case. That could very well be the case that this tweet means nothing and that he is just posting, glazing his own work, if you will, and just posting it. And of course, being the content creator that I am, I have to take the smallest hint of anything possible and try to stretch that out and draw it out to these wild you know, conclusions. Maybe put the tenfoil hat on and start guessing and start tying a knot and think of all these different various things that could mean what this one little tweet could be. But of course, I'm not coming in this empty handed or just crazy because your honor, I got four pieces of evidence here, four pieces of things I think that could actually prove that we might be very well getting a new season for the KOF 15. I'm not going to waste your time anymore. Let's get to it right here. Exhibit A, Oda-san's Twitter page. So this one is fairly simple. Uh, if you just take a look at Oda-san's Twitter page, you can see that he normally doesn't tweet. Uh, he'll just kind of repost things. Uh, he'll usually retweet the main SNK channel and he'll retweet about if there's tournaments, if there's anything regarding the game, he usually just repost it, right? Or maybe even like it. He very, very rarely tweets. So of course to see him again, just post this out with no other reference or no no dialogue or anything, just to post this, it definitely gives me the feeling of like, you know, hey guys, we haven't forgot about you. Like City of the Wolves is our main priority and it's the game that we're looking forward to in the future, of course, to take SNK to new heights, but we didn't forget about KOF players. And you know, there could be something potentially on the horizon for the game, whether it's a update again, whether it's more characters, whether it's aesthetics, whether it is um, even more ports or maybe just anything for the game. It clearly tells me that like that's, that's what this tweet is for, is just to let us know that we're not done. You know, we, we aren't done with this game. Uh, of course, if you guys remember, even at the SWC, there was like fam cam footage of people asking for KOF 15 uh, updates and like Oda-san is just like kind of shushing him away, putting his finger to his mouth. He's like, shh, don't, you know, don't worry about it. I got you guys. So who knows? Uh, of course, this could very well mean that, um, you know, he's, uh, listen, you go on Twitter. I'm sure everyone that works for SNK has seen all of the cries. They've seen all of the desires. You can't even see a tweet from SNK without someone commenting that they're looking, oh, where's, where's season three? Where's Shin Wu? Where's Vice? Where's uh, this character? Where's that character? You know, like definitely people are looking forward to this. And I think that's probably the easiest bit of evidence here. Exhibit B, the Summer Games Fest. So if you saw my last video, which if you haven't, you definitely should to get my full thoughts on the Summer Games Fest and what I think SNK is showing. But the TLDR of it is that the Summer Games Fest is going to be this weekend, June 7th, uh, at the time of this recording, of course. And uh, SNK will be there. Their logo was on the docket, as well as this uh, just a few hours ago, actually, the official Summer Games Fest channel, they retweeted the video 
that showcases all of the titles that's going to be there and is a quick shot of Rock Howard's intro from City of the Wolves letting us know that the news we are going to get there will definitely be City of the Wolves oriented. So in the video that I did, I, I kind of explained that I wasn't thinking we were going to get some type of season three update at the Summer Games Fest. I still think showing off City of the Wolves is top priority, but who knows? Again, we don't know how much time SNK has at the Summer Games Fest. So if it's possible, we could very well get more footage for the KOF 15, as well as obviously City of the Wolves. And there could be something to that merit. Again, it is this weekend. Who knows? Just gotta keep your alarm clock set because you never know what you're gonna see at the Summer Games Fest. Exhibit C, and I think this is a very, very important one. And that is of course, Evolution 2025 is on the horizon. We're currently roughly about 50 days out before evo prime is going to be happening and snk obviously has a, a big history with showcasing things and not just one thing but multiple things off at evo uh, if you remember at evo 2022 is when we got the multiple trailers we have the announcement trailer for city of the wolves we had the season two announcement for kof 15 where they showed off kim and I think just one or two other DLC characters, but they kind of gave us a roadmap. Uh, of course, fast forward to last year, 2023, where not only was Naj first playable at EVO, but they also showed the Duel On trailer and they also announced a balance patch. And speaking of announcing balance patches, I do think if we are gonna get some news at EVO, I think in the best interest for everyone overall, it'd be great if we got a balance patch actually before EVO. Um, I'm not one to really harp on this too much, but obviously a lot of people on, on the social medias are dooming and glooming because if you look at the evil charts as far as the list of players, KOF is last, right, of the main games. It's, it's number eight on the list, which to me, I don't think is a bad thing. The game is three years old. Um, obviously, there's a lot more games on the list that are still more fresh and, um, you know, more popular, let's be honest. But I don't think KOF 15 numbers are gonna be low by any stretch. If anything, I still think it's gonna be one of the most hyped games because of the fact that it's gonna be more condensed. A lot of the diehard players are gonna be there, people that have honed their skills over the past two years now to be better and better at the game. It's gonna make for a very exciting match, but in the interest of fairness, numbers is something that you want to have huge. You want them to be uh, bigger than better. So I'm not sure exactly how much a new update, if let's say they were to drop a new update before EVO, I'm not sure how much that would increase numbers. I'm sure that would help quite a bit. It might give some more people uh, incentive to head out to EVO if they're unable to, but I, I think I think it could be a good idea. So there's a chance that we could get some news at EVO, e either an update, maybe some new characters, um, maybe some news about the SWC. Obviously, season three is what we're thinking and what we're looking forward to the most. So who knows? I think if SNK is gonna do it, obviously EVO is, uh, historically has been the place to be as far as announcements, that's when the, Pretty much the entire world that is in, engulfed in this FGC is going to be watching no matter what game they support. So of course it'd be great to either announce a season three to happen soon or or again hopefully we get a season three announcement before that. And of course, how do we get that with exhibit D, SNK could just do whatever the F they want. Now a lot of times developers will hold off, right? It's kind of an unwritten rule to hold off to like these Evos and these big press conferences and like shows and everything to to show off new footage and, and things like that but snk has showed in the past that they'll they're willing to just stealth drop stuff i mean think of it this way we literally had advanced strike the new mechanic dropped off a month before the swc right a month before their most prestigious tournament they just kind of dropped it off in there and the top players had to acclimate themselves to not to mention uh we just had a uh, random patch about two weeks ago too that fixed a few things. I think it helped Kim out a little bit, like changed one of his moves or whatever. But yeah, I mean, SNK has pretty much let you know that like, expect the unexpected, you know, uh, they're not adhering uh, just to these unwritten rules of, we only can show off stuff at these, uh, at these game shows. No, we can just do it whenever we want. It's our company, it's our game. We could just drop a patch in the middle of the week and it doesn't even matter. Uh, and of course, you know, I know some people were debating and talking about how they don't think a patch would be as good because the SWC is currently going on. But if you remember last SWC, SNK dropped the patch super early on. I think it was about maybe six to seven competitors qualified and they dropped that patch, which 
I'm very grateful for because had they not dropped that patch, I'm guaranteeing you all 32 players of that SWC would have just been playing Cronin, BGN, and like whoever else was top tier at the time. So uh, we're still only two qualified players in Violent Kane and ET. Uh, those are the only two. So I think, hell, you know what? If we're going to get a new balance patch, why not shake things up? Evo's on the way, like I just mentioned previously. Shake things up beforehand. You know, drop it right now, stealth drop it, do whatever you want. I just think that, uh, you you know, at this point, SNK can kind of do and move. They, they move to the beat of their own drum and they can do whatever they desire to do. So I just present that to you as the final piece of evidence as to why I think this tweet is more than just, you know, him dropping an image. One of the big complaints about SNK social media uh, from the fans is that people feel like they don't tweet enough or they don't communicate enough with us. And lately, you know, it's looking like things are getting better. Obviously, Otosan with this tweet, we've seen SNK uh, show up these really cool renders for City of the Wolves, uh, which has a little bit of backstory about the characters. So again, I'm, I'm all in on that. I love me some, some background, some lore. You know, I love learning about these characters outside of just playing them in the game. Uh, and of course, uh, one of the, the other complaints was the fact that they uh, people felt they were announcing SWC qualifier spots too late. You know, Combo Breaker was announced a few days before the event. And I know there were some people who said they, you know, they were upset because they would have made combo breaker a priority to go but if you look at it now um there's a tournament uh, in malaysia as well as evil that snk has announced beforehand uh they announced that those tournaments will be swc qualifier spots so again that's great and it's cool it shows that they are listening to some of the feedback some of the critiques and um you know the fact that they're announcing things a little bit earlier it's going to help out the players overall people can actually start to plan if they weren't going to go um they can practice up and of course more numbers the better that's what we always want that's what we need to see that's going to be it for this video folks let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think this tweet is all about do you think Otasan is just having fun with us do you think this tweet has any merits if so what do you want to see from kof season three potentially i'm rome himself You've been great, and I'll see you in the future. That's all for now, fighters. But if you've enjoyed what you've seen, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow Rome's social media pages down below. Take care, see you next time, and most importantly, thank you for watching.